So these are sun juice, or glyphus in Welsh, and like, and they are the UK's only carnivorous plants. So they um, have little sticky globules on the end of those spiky bits, which catch uh, little insects, and that's how they get their nitrogen. But peatlands are, are home to loads of different plants. We've got all the different berries. We've got bilberries, cowberries, even cranberries. We've got three different types of heather. This one's a cross-leafed heather here. And we've got ling here, which you might be used to from your garden. There's your cross-leaf. And you can get bell heather. There's two different types of cotton grass. So they have the, the white cottony heads in the summer. So loads of different grasses, loads of different plants, which then support a really diverse um, animal population as well. So that's why peatlands are really great for some birds and water voles and amphibians. There's plenty of food on them.